as we continue our look at sage math here, insofar as doing numerical cal calculations, let's see if we can introduce variables and functions into our work now. So for instance, in electricity and magnetism, we know 9E9 is that famous constant K that goes into all Coulomb's law and electric field calculations. So why don't we just define it in our worksheet here as 9 times 10 to the ninth. So I'm going to press Shift Enter now. And if I just hit K and press Return, you can see that K is now forever defined as 9E9. So I have a nice constant I can use around. So if I wanted to calculate the force between two charges, I could just type K times 10E minus 9 times 5E minus 9. There's a 10 nanocoulomb charge and a 5 nanocoulomb charge divided by 0.1 squared, supposing they're 10 centimeters apart. Hit shift return and I get my force out. So I don't have to keep carrying around the 9E9 and suddenly my formulas start to look a bit more succinct. I can even define the values for the Qs themselves, of course. Say I have a 1 nanocoulomb charge like this, shift enter, and Q2 here is maybe a 15 nanocoulomb charge, something like this, shift enter. Now I have Q1 and Q2 defined, and I can even define the distance between them, say 1.5 meters. Now if I want to know the force, I can just type K times Q1 times Q2 over R squared. The formula now looks exactly like the one in the textbook almost, and there's my force. So keep in mind that the computer isn't going to allow you to do something like this, Q1, Q2 over R squared, because the computer doesn't know where to put in the multiplication. You get a horrible error if you do that. Let's just delete this thing here because you always have to remember that the computer in this sense here doesn't understand where the multiplication should go. I forgot all the stars in there. So you should always use variables whenever you can when doing these computations because now, for instance, you could go back, suppose the distance between the charges changed from 1.5 meters, maybe down to just 0.5 meters. I can just change R, don't forget to hit shift return to make that the new, valuable, new value. And now if I just hit shift return on this same line here, it'll be auto computed for me with the new value of R in there. And the same goes for the Qs, which I might have up here as well. I can change Q2 maybe to something like 5 nanocoulombs. Shift return after that. If I go back down to my formula, another shift return, I'll get the new computed value of the force there. So see, it's all very nice using these variables and stuff. Let's even ratchet up another step and put a function in there. Suppose I wanted to find something like f of x is equal to x squared, just like you would in your calculus book. Shift return after that. Now f of x is forever x squared. So if I do something like f of 5, I'll get the 25 out. Very nice. So I can even keep going, even define full out Coulomb's law. Let me just redefine f here. Uh, k is already going to be in there, but sort of the parameters for this function would be q1, q2, and even r in there. So I can just set that equal to k times q1 times q2 over r squared, something like that. Now I have this function f declared that all I have to do is just give it my two charges, say, 1 nanocoulomb and 50 nanocoulombs. And how far apart are they? 2 meters like that. And just hit shift return there. There's my force. So you see the computer in using sage math becomes a very sophisticated tool now for just doing the basic computations that you're used to doing. And we think if you can get yourself organized with functions and variables, you're becoming quite sophisticated. And we think you find, will find that your productivity might increase as well. In other words, you'll get your work done faster at a slightly higher level of sophistication, and you might even find that you're spending more time thinking and doing physics instead of all these hand calculations. Let's let the computer do the result. You can get on trying to understand the lesson that you're working on. So remember, functions and variables are extremely useful in sage math.